These are ankle jumping jacks. Place the band around your ankle. Stand in a quarter squat position with your feet about hip width apart and your hands can be at your chest and just jump your feet in and out. These are lateral band walks. Place the band around your ankle, stand in a quarter squat position, and you will just move left and right as you want. Just make sure you're doing the even amount of steps on both sides. These are standing glute kickbacks. Place the band around your ankle again, and you will just kick your foot back. Make sure that you do an even amount on both legs. And this is easier normally when you're holding onto something like a wall. This is a squat to a lateral leg lift. Place the band above your knees, stand with your feet hip width apart, and as you are going down into your squat, make sure you're pushing your butt back. Then when you are gonna stand up, you're gonna lift either one of your legs, keeping your knees straight forward. Then you're just gonna return it to the floor and squat again. These are banded walks. Place the band around your ankles, stand with your hip fit apart, and as you are bending your knees, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips, keeping your abs engaged and your glutes tight, and just keep walking. These are hip bridge pulses. Place the band above your knees, lay on your back with your hands at your side, knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Make sure you squeeze your glutes and your abs as you lift up your hips, hold the bridge and push your knees out to the sides, keeping your feet touching the whole time. These are hip bridges. There is also a more advanced version with adding an alternating leg extension, but just for the basics, for this hip bridge, you are gonna lie on your back with your hands at your side, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Squeeze your glutes and abs again as you are lifting your hips off the floor. I am now adding in the leg extension. For this, just extend whichever leg until it's straight, keeping your knees in line. Return your leg to the starting position. Bring your hips back down to the floor and repeat. Make sure you are squeezing your glutes and your abs as you are lifting off the floor for each hip thrust. This is really going to ensure that you're getting the most out of this workout. This exercise is called clamshells. You're gonna place your band above your knees, lay on your side, and as you are keeping your feet together, lift up your top knee toward the ceiling. Slowly lower your top knee down to hover right above the bottom knee and just make sure that you do this on both sides as you see demonstrated. This exercise is called fire hydrants. You are going to place your band above your knees again. You are going to start on all fours with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Without shifting your hips, try to lift your one knee to the side and then slowly return to the starting position. Make sure you do the same number on each side and make sure your core is engaged and that you are stabilized and not shifting as you are going. The last exercise is straight leg extensions. You are going to have the band down at your ankles and you are gonna place your one leg on the mat and you're just going to keep tension in the resistance bands as you lift your leg up and down. You are gonna to wanna to do this on both sides and the same equal amount for each side. 